There are a couple handy features that you should be aware of when working with the grading inside Canvas. One of those is when you log in on your course homepage, you'll be able to see a to-do list of assignments that require some grading. So if you want to grade a particular assignment, you can click on that assignment and it will launch the first student that submitted their paper. Um, up here in the top, you could toggle between any students that you have. You can also move forward and back between those students and be able to grade them. Once you launch the assignment, you will be able to see all the particular assignments that were submitted. So if they submitted it in a Word file, a PDF, you would be able to view it here. What's really nice about Canvas is this is an editable document, so I can go in and um, make some comments. So if I wanted to tell a student to point to something in particular, and then I can type in what my comment was. So when the student comes back and views their paper, they would be able to see our, my comments here. I could also use the highlighting tool to select something in particular that I wanted to bring the student's attention to. Um, if I was doing a rough draft and maybe was making some suggestions on what they might want to remove, I could use the strikeout tool. Um, so I have some options here as far as going in and giving students feedback. On their assignments through comments um, and directing them with some highlighting or other options. I can also draw, so if I wanted to circle something and make a comment, I could there as well. And the students will see all of that detail. What's also nice is in addition to being able to mark up their individual papers, if that's what you've asked them to submit, is you also have the ability to download the assignment you can also download multiple assignments as a group into a zipped file, allowing you to grade offline if you wanted to, where you could actually use a word editor and type your comments in there, and then be able to upload them all back in a zipped file um, to update the submission with your graded or revised comments. What's also nice as well is, is that if you're using the rubric tool, and I'll show you in a moment how to add a rubric to your paper, um, it makes grading really easy. So I could go through and indicate on my paper and then maybe give a point base here. But if I was using a rubric, um, I can see all the individual criterias that I've set up. So you can have multiple criterias. And then I can go in and based on how they performed on that criteria, I can select their point level based on how I set that rubric up. So I just simply select how many points that they earned as I've gone through each individual criteria and indicate how they performed based on that. When I click Save, it will total those up for a total points down here of 24 out of 30, and that's what will populate into the gradebook for me. So it gives the students a little bit more specific detail. I can still mark their paper up and give them some guidance that matches with the rubric, but then I can give them specific feedback as well. In addition, another handy tool um, that's available, like we've seen before, you can always add typewritten comments to your students um, that maybe correlates with some of the feedback you've done with the markup. But you can also attach a file, so if you downloaded this and made some editing changes, you could return the file to them. But you could also make a quick media comment to your students. So instead of just typing out a message, you could actually send them a voice file that includes your um, interpretation of the assignment. So it, it makes it a little bit clearer as to what it was, you, what you intended them to understand about your feedback. Um, and that's embedded right into their assignment so that they're able to view your comments, view the rubric, as well as maybe hear some additional comments from you as well. So when I'm done grading it, I just hit Submit Comments. It also um, updates their grades with the rubric that I've used. When I'm done, I can move on to the next student by toggling to them they've had a submission. Um, and then when I'm 
completely done. This is constantly saving. I just simply return back to my course here. It will take me back to my course home, home page. I can return back to the grade book. If you wanted to add the rubric to a particular assignment, I'm just going to click here on assignments and go to my short list of assignments. I would simply create the assignment. I could use the new assignment button to create a new assignment. Type in all the specific details. Once I've got the details in there, down below those details is where I can say add the rubric. Um, by default, this is the format that I get. I have a place where I can type in the specific criteria that correlates to what the assignment was. Um, I can give more specific what happens when they get full marks, what happens when they get no marks, and I can also um, add, so if I had multiple point levels, like on that one we were just looking at, I had three levels of points that they could earn, I can add levels here by clicking the plus, plus button to add another level into my rubric. So if I wanted to type in a very specific detailed criteria, I could then I could also go in and edit what happens when the student gets so I can just paste that in there and click OK then I can go in to edit what happens when a student get no marks meaning they didn't complete the assignment and so then you can see here the total points that were available were five points. They either did it or they didn't do it. And then I just click Create Rubric. And what it does is it embeds that rubric as part of your assignment. So anytime the students click to view what the assignment is, they'll also see the rubric, which is helpful for them to understanding how they're going to perform and meet your criteria. And then this is the same rubric that will populate in your gradebook so that you can click on these criteria ratings to assign the points and populate that into your gradebook. I hope you enjoy the new speed grading features um, that are available within Canvas.